Hey guys, Jacob here, and today I want to show you how to get Amazon orders directly to your Google Sheets. This is the continuation of the series that I already did. So basically, first time on this YouTube channel, I recorded how to get the orders in the old MWS API to Google Sheets. Then actually, once the SP API, so the Selling Partner API was released, I also recorded the update on a video and that was the old SP API because recently there was a change. So in the, in the old way, you actually had to create the IM roles, you had to set up many things in the AWS and connect your account to the Seller Central. And then when it comes to requests, that was also super hard because you, you had to actually use the signature. You had to sign the request to do anything related to SP API. And because of this, actually, some of the developers, they created the wrappers, the third party libraries that you could use to simplify this process. However, all of you know that if you build the production code, you should not rely on the third party libraries. Therefore, this process was extremely hard. But as I said, recently Amazon changed it. And right now it's super simple to do request to SP API as I already recorded it in one of the videos. And today I want to do a third episode of getting the orders directly to your Google Sheets. So let's begin. This video will be divided into two parts. So the first one is configuration of the SP API. So creating, creating of the app in a seller central and then doing a sample request for orders API via Python code. And then once we have the base, we'll continue and we'll set up the account in the Google Clouds, get the access to the Google Sheets API. And then of course, write the Python code that will pull the orders from the SP API and put them in the Google Sheets. Let's start. All right, so let's actually do a new app and sample request using Python, but it can be any programming language. So we'll go into create a new app client. Let's name it YouTube Tutorial October. Let's use the Selling Partner API, pick this for sellers, pick basically what APIs you need. Um, basically, we can take all of them without the PII. Uh, if you're actually trying to get access to PII, um, you can always contact us as well, um, because I know this is a super tough process and we already help uh, a lot of sellers and vendors to, to do it. So for now, uh, let's click no, because otherwise you actually have to provide information to, to Amazon to get those informations and let's do save and exit. All right, so we have our YouTube tutorial in October. Let's go and check the AWS credentials, which are actually needed. So as you see here, we have the client identifier and client secret. Um, I, we will need both of those in a moment and we will also need to authorize our application, but let's continue here in a moment. First, let's actually create the script that will do a sample request. So uh, let's use Python. Let's create the virtual environment first. I will be using pip and fast usually. And the biggest game changer is that we will no longer need to use any third party libraries. We'll do directly the request um, to the API with the request library. So let's install the request library and the virtual environment. Let's activate it. Now let's create two files. One is the script.py and second is credentials.py. For the sake of the simplicity, um, obviously you shouldn't do it uh, on the production environment. I just want to show you how to do it as a sample. Now open our favorite code editor. In my case, it's a PyCharm. All right, it's all set. We should have our environment ready, activated. And this is the credentials. Now for the credentials, um, we will need the refresh token, LWA, LWA app ID and LWA client secret. And all of those information now we will go into get from here. So first of all here, client identifier, this is the app ID, client secret, this is here and refresh token. Let's go here, authorize. Now for the different marketplaces, obviously you have different versions. Let's Pick the, alpha, the US marketplace, authorize app, let's copy it. Remember to save it now. Let's paste it over there. Now we have all of the credentials ready. Now let's jump to the script and I'll show you how easy it is. All right, we'll be using those libraries, requests, really parse data time, 
JSON and of course we need to import our credentials. Now the first step is to get the LWS access token using the Seller Central app credentials. The token will be valid for one hour until it expires. So it's always important to implement this logic. So we always have the valid token. Now let's uh, do it. So we'll be using the request library and we'll do a post request to this uh, endpoint. This is basically endpoint which will uh, return the access token. And we need to pass all of the credentials that we actually have stored and put the grunt type to the refresh token. Now as a response, we'll have we'll get the refresh token from here. We can actually print it to, to see. All right, we got our refresh token. The next point is to get the endpoint for North America. So in my case, um, this is the one. And obviously if you're on different marketplaces, you should use the different, to uh, different endpoints. Now um, you should also take the marketplace ID. So first one is the link and then the marketplace ID. You have different marketplace IDs here in the documentation. And for the US one is this one. So if you go type US, this is the one we are using. Now we will be downloading orders in this very simple tutorial. So this is the documentation. This is how the actual request should look like. So we have this get orders file zero orders. This is basically our URL. And as we see here, this is the get request with the query parameters that we will have to pass as well together with the with the URL. So I'll put it here so you know. And now for the query params, this is the uh, those are the request params. We'll need the marketplace IDs uh, with the marketplace ID created after, let's take last 30 days in a ISO format and now the actual request. So this is how we do the request. Um, and before that, you had those libraries that you had to actually, those were like kind of wrappers on the API. They had all of that built in and so many of you actually requested this to do just in Python. So I'm just dropping this value bump uh, today. You can see how to do the request without any external libraries because obviously when you're building this on a production, you don't want to rely on a third party uh, wrappers or libraries, right? So this is how we do it. You have at the endpoint, and then you are adding the um, so this is the endpoint for the orders, as I showed you, and now the query parameters, and we can use this nice library which will basically encode query parameters to the URL as a header. You need to provide the access token which we already got, and again, it's valid for one hour. And in the end, let's uh, dump this here, um, JSON dumps, and let's have these orders.json and have it printed nicely. All right, let's type Python script.py. And as you see, we actually retrieved our orders from the API. All right, guys, so now we will actually put our orders directly to the Google Sheets. So first of all, we have to go, and I really recommend you guys this library, Gspread. Actually, during those years, this library also had changes. So it's actually much easier right now to put your orders directly to the Google Sheets. So what I say here is um, there are a couple of steps, right? Uh, first, authentication, enable API access to for the project and so on and so on. And for us, what is the most important is for bots using the service account. So first of all, let's head to Google Developer Console. Let's create a new project for this particular video. Uh, let's type it as per API new just from the Google Sheets. Uh, I'll put my organization, but obviously um, you can put yours. All right, we are creating the project right now. Let's wait for it. Meanwhile, we have to enable APA access for the project, both for the Google Drive and for the Google Sheets API and select the project. All right, we are in a new project. Let's go and type Google Drive. Let's enable the Google Drive API. All right, now go. Let's go to the Google Sheets API. Google Sheets API. Let's enable it as well. All right, we have it. Now for bots using service account, and uh, this is something that we are interested in. So we want to go um, to the credentials, service account key, fill out the form, create and done. All right, I'm pretty sure we can go. We have to go to APN services. Okay, we are here. Let's create it. Okay. Let's go in here. Now, 
create credentials. All right, we have to go to credentials, create credentials. And what we want is service accounts here. Service account name, let's do new SPA API GS. All right, we, we will click create and continue, continue, done. And now what's the most important is we need to get those, um, this is our email that we will invite to the Google Sheets, but we also need the uh, JSON credentials. So we need the keys, add the key, create new key, JSON, create. All right, we have it, nice. Now we have to go to our directory and simply paste this key here, change the name to keys.json, and then if I show it to you, this is how this should look like, all right? Now let's go back to the project, and again, let's continue. I'll, I'll hide it here. So the last step was here that we got the orders. Let's, let's follow the documentation. What we want to do is, it's very important, go to your spreadsheet with a client email, right? So let's create a new spreadsheet already. Let's name it, let's type as per API GS, all right? This is how we name it. Now let's go back, let's go to details. This is our email, let's copy it and let's, and let's share it, all right? So you have to share with the others and share it with this email address. All right, let's share it in a way. All right, we have it. We have our sheet. And now we have our file already in a directory and now we can simply test our application, okay? So let, let's just copy this very simple. First of all, uh, I don't think we already installed it. We need to install G the Gsprit library, so pip and install gsprit. I think in the back you had to install like three different libraries in the previous tutorial. Anyway, let's import the gsprit. All right, and now let, let me show you how we can test this. So let, let's delete this one. Let's open this Google Sheet. This is how we name it. Okay, let's put something here, test. All right, and let's go back to documentation, just print it. So let's do Python. Uh, for now, let's just put the command on here. Just put Python script.py. And as you see here, we have our test, so it worked properly. So now let's create a quickly code, which will um, put the orders directly to the Google Sheet. All right, I will import those two additional classes so we have the data class sorry functions not classes data class and as dict we'll both need them you probably if you watched the previous videos i actually did it very similar way so we will actually construct it we'll use this data class amazon order and header and we'll need this to translate the dictionary that comes so the json that comes from the spapi library to here we will extract just a few fields of course feel free to extend it as much as you want so we'll need this and this this is pretty much the same so first we'll write the header again we have the header here All right, so now we have the empty list. We will iterate over JSON payload. We will get the orders from the JSON because of the structure of this JSON, and then we'll append to the list each of those orders with those specific information. Now, this is the list of the lists that we need, and simply, you have two ways of adding stuff to Google Sheets. You can either add row after row and then exceed the quote limit that they give you, I think around 60 per second or something like this. This is how I did it last time when I was testing. Or you can add whole batch of the rows below the last row. And this is how we will do it. So this is how we will convert this Amazon order list. We'll need the list. And then that's why we need the as dictionary. We'll extract it, the values from it, convert it to the list. Here we will get always the last row. So we can always append the new batch. And here we have con a command called insert rows. And the previous one that I was talking about is this one. 
So this is up and row, but this will exceed the limit, so we don't need it. So this is how this works right now. This is the whole code. Uh, seems like we don't need the JSON, all right. So let's run it. So again, this is our Google Sheet. Let's run it. Uh, let's do Python script. All right, it seems like, all right, it, it worked. Um, I just cleared it. So anyway, this is how our orders looks like. Same as always. It's working. It's very simple. It's actually the simplest since the beginning. So every time I record a new video, this is just getting simpler. I mean, the MWS was super hard. The oldest API was easier, but it was still hard. And now this is actually the ultimate level. Uh, so this is the easiest how you how it can get. So I hope you guys like it. I will leave the repository in the description. And as always, guys, if you need help with the development, if you're building your own tool that you want to be as next SaaS for Amazon sellers, you want to resell it and you want to help them, we are here to help. You can contact us, we'll estimate your project and we'll build it, we'll code it. Or even if you have your own internal development team and you need a slight push on the SPAPI, feel free to reach out. We can also do some consulting with you. Or if you're currently struggling to migrate from the MWS to the SPAPI, this is also the service that we provide. So as always, guys, if you ever need help with anything related to the custom development, coding, projects in general, Delta Logic is here to help you. Thanks a lot, guys, and I see you in the next one.